What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are currently headed to the Asian food market. So last week on my Instagram, I put up a poll of a bunch of largemouth bass stocked in this like little tiny tank they had. And it got like over a thousand yeses to go save a bass. So we got a tank ready at home. We loaded up the truck immediately and we're headed there right now to go try to save one of these bass. They had some massive ones in there that were like four or five pounds. So hopefully we can get a trophy bass from them, but we're gonna pick up the camera when we get there. I don't know if y'all watched last time, but we actually did this video before rescuing live eels and it turned out to be an absolute disaster. So when we got there, the eels were practically dead floating, but we still tried to save them. It didn't work out too well because they just never, they never recovered from that. And they didn't give us any water. So we came really prepared today. We got a bucket full of water. We're not messing around. So hopefully we can save some of these bass and I'll pick up the camera when we get there. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the spot. We cased the joint last week because in the last video that we did, we did like the five different Asian markets here in town and it took like all day. So I didn't want to waste any time. I went here last week. I kind of scouted the place out. Um, hopefully it's not too busy in there and hopefully they're cool with us filming because last time the guy was like, what do you, what do you say? He was like, hey, he has like $5 to come film in here. So hopefully they're cool with it. And uh, we're going to try to get one of these bass and a big a big trophy bass uh, here's all the bass and look these are pretty these are pretty good size like look at the belly on that one hope the camera can show it but uh, there's a lot in this tank and normally this thing is like completely full with it so let's see if we can buy one of these they are 11 bucks a pound so we'll see how much they are hopefully they're like three or four pounds um, but i want to get a nice and healthy one we're gonna have to treat it obviously before we put it in the tanks also have some live eels right here, which that was what we rescued last time, and then some channel catfish, which are pretty cool. So, if you guys want us to come back and want us to rescue something here, like lobster, crab, anything like that, drop a like on this video. Let me know down in the comments because I think it'd be cool to have one of these guys. Yeah, let's get one of these bass. Uh, the, the biggest one that you can find. So I don't know which one the biggest is. I know like that one's a pretty big one. Um, just one of the big bass. You guys like to eat these? Are they pretty good? Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> Dang. Can I hop in the tank and get one or? This one is all okay. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good size one over there. Thank you guys. Alright, there's no water in the back. We gotta hurry and get this in the truck. Just flopping around in the back. <laughs> my god this is this is awful the fish is literally just flopping around on the scale right now there's no water in the bag so we need to get this thing in the truck instantly before it dies fish can actually live out of water for like at least 10 20 minutes so it'll be okay but it's just very stressful on them obviously because they're just breathing air all right guys we got it uh, we couldn't show the video anymore because there's other people walking around the store and we didn't want to get their faces in it but the fish like little flopping everywhere and it literally fell off the counter and just smacked on the ground. So hopefully it's okay. Time is up yet. It's flopping around right now. We normally, we try to ask them for water, but they'll never give it to you because these are all for food purposes. Right here. Come on, come on. Time crunch. All right, here it is guys. Oh, this thing is all slimy. Here it goes, guys. We did get one of the smaller ones. I know we asked for one of the bigger ones, but it's kind of hard when they're on the tank. But we're gonna save this guy's life. He looks to be okay. We're gonna take him home and put him in the tank. So far, this rescue mission has been a success. Now you would think with this fish being for human consumption that it would be in good health, but that is actually the total opposite. So these fish are farmed in thousands and the nastiest water that you can imagine. Think of like your sewer water. Thinking of, think of eating a fish out of your sewer. That's pretty much what this is like. They probably have fin rot, all kinds of in internal parasites. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it in this tank alone at my house for about a month. We're gonna treat it for literally everything, make sure it's clean before we add it to our other fish because if you cross contaminate fish, you might get them infected. It might wipe out your entire tank, which has happened to me before and it absolutely sucks. I'm not mad at the lady, it was not her fault. You know, she's just doing her job, but I think there was a lot bigger one in there that we could have gotten, which the girl was just doing her job at the end of the day. Like, you know, there's 50 bass in there. She can only catch one. I understand, but I wish we would have got like one of the four or five pounders that there was in there. All right, guys, we made it home. And so here's the plan. We're gonna take this little bucket right here. We're gonna put the face of the bass in it. That way it can still breathe. I'm gonna run it down to my basement. There's so many so we're gonna put his face in there. It'll be okay like that just for a couple minutes. So we have our 120 right here. This is a four by two by two. This will be a perfect tank for this bass to grow out in. And then eventually it's gonna be moved over to the monster fish warehouse. 
just like our other fish. The good thing about me being able to scout the tank at the, the Asian market was I was able to tell what temperature their tank was. It was like 74. So I picked this tank to 74 degrees. It's gonna be perfect. We don't even have to acclimate this guy actually. So go ahead and grab him out of the bucket. Look at his fin, it's all torn up. So we're gonna have to heal that up. Um, really pretty fish though. Here's a release. Ooh. Dude, that's gonna be so sick, guys. So we have the perfect name for this fish. It's gonna be named Bubba. Check a look, say hello to Bubba right there. So each bass kind of has different markings. I'm gonna have, they all kind of have that same kind of stripe through the middle of it right there. But look at his, look above his eye right there. That's probably from where he fell off the table and smacked on the ground, which we couldn't control, obviously. Like these places, they don't want you to save, well, they don't want you to keep these fish in aquariums and all that stuff because, um, you know, some could be invasive or that you could let them go or whatever, but bass is perfectly fine. Native in Kentucky, you can find them in literally every pond here, catch them in 10 minutes. So this guy's gonna be great. He's, so what is he, two pounds right now? And hopefully we can get up to like five, then 10, like just have a massive trophy bass in the monster pond. That's kind of my goal, but he is still sick. I mean, he looks kind of disgusting with his fins and all that stuff just torn up. So we're gonna treat him, give him salt, everything he needs, raise his temperature up as well to 84, try to kill anything off. And one of the things that most people underestimate about largemouth bass is they are actually one of the most aggressive feeders. So we can do a lot of really cool live feedings with this guy. We can throw like monster bluegill in there and just watch him smoke it. So stay tuned for that guys. That is the end of the video today. Um, remember to drop a like on this video and comment, hit the subscribe button. Um, and then for those of you all that stayed around to the end of the video, thank you so much. Here is gonna be the clip of me at the new Monster Fish Warehouse, just giving you all a sneak peek. And then in the next couple of weeks, we'll update you all on the pond. Hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. The 8,000 gallon pond is halfway finished. And as promised, here's a sneak peek into the room.